Hello everyone, today I want to demonstrate a Sublime Text 3 plugin which enables you to edit the starter to file in the Sublime Text 3. Um, it can not only replace the original to file editor of the starter, but also provide you different functions which makes your life easier when you edit the stuff in the starter. There is a brief introduction of the features of this software uh, in my GitHub homepage. And here I want to demonstrate uh, the usage of the software. Okay, I open a new instance of the Sublime Text. And then I would uh, load, uh, just uh, load a uh, do file. This is a do file of my research and I want to use it for demonstration. We can immediately see that uh, all these codes has been uh, syntax highlighted and the highlighted syntax is much better than the original one in the uh, do file editor provided by the starter. Uh, secondly, I want to show how to execute the code. So we simply just need to select all these codes that we want to execute and then we click uh, Control D. Then Starter can immediately tell this code and uh, execute them. And if you didn't select anything, you just put your cursor here and uh, click Control D. My plugin by default will just line, run this line of code. But uh, when you select two lines of code, it will run two lines of code. You didn't select anything, it will just run this line of code. Okay. Secondly, uh, thirdly, I want to also show a new invention of my plugin. It, it enables you to do a kind of MATLAB style execution. If you are familiar with MATLAB, you know that uh, in MATLAB you can run a block of the code. So if you have a break line here in MATLAB, for example, and a, a break line uh, here as well, then in MATLAB it can run a block of the code only within this block. And for my plugin, I also can define two blocks. Uh, the block can define using the control S hot, hot key. Okay, and it is called, called pure sign. Actually, this is a word for me to identify uh, the break line. And at the end of the block, you can also put a, a pure sign. Then you click Control Shift S. Then Starter will only run the code within this block. We can see here. Although this command is not uh, recognized, but uh, it doesn't matter. For example, I show another example. Is that uh, we can see that here we have a lot of code to execute. It's a uh, it's really quite a lot. Um, so a simple way to do that using our uh, MATLAB style execution is that we I insert a break line at the end of the block and a break line at the beginning of this block. Then I put my cursor just between these two uh, uh, break lines and I click Control Shift D. Then you can see the starter will just run this block of the code. Okay. Okay, the second thing is that I want to show how to put a nice header for, my, for the code. So this header does not look very good. It's, uh, it's called data treat. But here, I defined a new function that uh, you can put a header easily. So all you need to do is just type COMM. So there are three COMM for you to choose. You, if you choose a COMMS, then it will give you a template of the section title. So if you want to put a title here, then you can simply put it. So when you change the, uh, the title of the section, the ending words of this section will also be changed correspondingly. And uh, if you want to also put some note, simply type the tab. The tab will move you to the next argument of this template. Um, this is a new title, for example. And you click the Type again, then they go to, go to the content. Then you can type the mem code in the body part. For example, you can type a lot of stuff. Okay. Sometimes you want also make a, a 
single line of of the comments in your code. For example, here I want to make a single line of comments. You just need to type C O M M. Half a L, for example, then you can get a single line of comments. So this is a program code, for example. And in your code, uh, sometimes we cannot finish in one day. We need to put some to-do list. Put a to-do list that we can choose C O M M, but the C O M M T instead. Then in these arguments, you can put some uh, stuff. Firstly, I want to polish it and click tab, move to the second argument. And we can submit it, for example. Okay, uh, the next thing is that I would like to show you how to write an automated for loop using my plugin. So if you want to type a, a for loop for each or for value, when you type for, it will enable you to choose uh, two kinds of for loop. For example, I just uh, want to generate a for value loop. Okay, so I choose this one, and uh, I put an index k. Press tab, go to the next argument, which is the starting number of the for value loop. And for example, I still want to start from ten. Press tab, go to the increment. Uh, it's a, the increment is 2, for example, and the ending number is uh, 200, for example. So again, when you change anything here, the ending word of the for loop will also be changed accordingly. Then click uh, the tab, then you can put some main body. For example, I want to display the K, for example. And you, you have already seen that when you put the left quotation, it will automatically give you a right quotation. And the, between these two quotations, you can simply put the uh, local macro in it. So this is a really automated way for you to uh, put a macro. So you can simply do any word. For example, uh, just a local thing here. You select it and simply click the left quotation, you can see this stuff has been wrapped with uh, the quotation max for the local macro. And sometimes you want to do some global macro as well. Choose the word you want to make it to be a macro. Choose it, and uh, then type uh, command 4. Okay, then you can see this stuff has been wrapped with a global a macro sign. Okay, so it is uh, pretty convenient. <coughs> the second thing is that as a program, it can do some program uh, automatically. Normally, if we want to do a program, we need to start with couple prog drop and uh, a lot of stuff. But here, in my plugin, you can simply type prog, click enter, get a template. Um, for example, I just uh, call it uh, uh, the demonstrate prog. So when you type the name of the prog, you can see uh, the cup drop and the prog name and the ending word will be changed accordingly as well. So it is a really automated method for you to do that. The last thing I would like to mention is about uh, uh, the help file window. For example, here the T effects command is uh, probably is not a very um, popular one. So if we want to see the help file of it, you just select it and click control, uh, click the F1. Okay, after press F1, you will see the help file of the T effects command. So you can use F1 to see help file, and uh, there are a lot of variables here as well. So you can choose all these variables. And uh, if you type uh, F2, if you click F2, you will see a data browser of these three variables. OK. It is also a pretty automated method for you to see a data browser without going to the command window type uh, a lot of stuff. OK, so you can do, basically, you can do everything in the, uh, in the sublime text with my plugin. Okay, so I hope you can enjoy that. And uh, 
we are also developing some automated uh, command. For example, the merge command. If you type merge command, you can also automatically, automatically uh, complete some stuff. It is also very easy if you can use the tab um, to complete it. And we, are, we have a lot of uh, such kind of stuff. You can also explore and give our some comments. Okay, so thank you very much for using this uh, plugin. And uh, hope you can enjoy it. Thank you. Goodbye.